Hey, I got a quick tip for you for around the house, on your property, etc. If you want to get rid of those dang blood sucking mosquitoes, yeah, like those kind, we all hate them. Die, mosquito! I'm going to show you how to do it safely without harsh or dangerous chemicals, no electricity. It's actually really affordable and it works really well. I've helped hundreds of thousands of people do this. A lot of testimonials. This method works. Hey, you know, it's one of the plagues of summertime, especially if you're in a humid area, and they're most anywhere, but they're especially bad out in the country, mosquitoes. If you guys live in places like Florida, you especially know what I'm talking about. But even here in Colorado, they plague us just as bad here too. Uh, I used to live on 20 acres of land out here in the country. We had it irrigated, so that attracts a lot of mosquitoes. And one summer, I went through fighting these suckers all summer. I mean, I tried the fan traps like the Dyna trap. I tried the CO2 traps like the mosquito magnet. And I tried uh, the bug zappers. I tried sprays. You know, I did a lot of things. I didn't do things like bats and uh, dragonflies and all that because that takes some time to get them in. I was trying to get rid of them right then and nothing was working. I'm sure some of you have been through that. And the final straw for me was when I had one of those ones that uses CO2. It basically takes a propane tank, creates a small flame, creates CO2, it attracts the mosquitoes, sucks them into a fan, and they slowly die. It was the first run of the, of the season, so of course there's going to be a lot more of them and it'll be less as we go on throughout the year, but. When that thing quit after just a few months of using it, I found out the part was gonna be $150. That was half the price of the whole unit. I'm like, crap, it's not under warranty. I'm not gonna spend that kind of money again. And I got to thinking about it. You know, those other things, they were helping. They definitely helped uh, less than the amount of mosquitoes, but they weren't stopping them. I was still getting bit, especially in the evening. And I thought, why are they failing? So I got to doing a little research and it turns out mosquitoes don't really live very long. And of course it's the female mosquito that lays the eggs and hatches into more. Well, the mosquito, female mosquito, she can lay up to like a hundred eggs at a time. And they can sometimes just sit there dry even and wait for water. And then they can do that something like three times in their life cycle and then they die, but they've just produced about 300 more. So when you're trapping them, zapping them, etc., you're only getting some of them, the rest of them are putting out 300 more and those put out 300 more and you can see it's like a pyramid, kind of like one of those pyramid schemes. You sign up three, they sign up three. Pretty soon you got a million. Well, that's kind of how I saw the mosquito problem was we needed to figure out some way to break the life cycle. That's what was going to end it. So I thought about it and I discovered this product. I'm going to show you here in a second. And it does exactly that. So what this product is, is it's a mosquito dunks and you can see i've been using them i don't need them much right now we haven't had a mosquito problem where we're currently at of course we're living in our rv too but even before that in the city our city actually uses these in a lot of the standing water as well as spraying and different things and they seem to control it pretty good in the city but out in the country i guarantee they'll pick you up and carry you from one farm to the next i've seen them terrible out there so what these are is, I say it's all natural and no dangerous chemicals because this is a, a bacteria side is what's in this. That's really it. There's no poisons, none of that. It's this bacteria that affects 
primarily mosquitoes. It doesn't harm animals. It doesn't harm uh, birds, things like that. There's only like one other insect that it can harm, but it primarily affects the mosquito by, what it does is the mosquito will come and lay her eggs. They will develop into the larvae, but the larvae will never fully develop into adults. They die off. And so you effectively just broke the life cycle. Now these are made by uh, Summit Chemical. You can go read all about them on their web website. I'm gonna have to put my glasses on to see this at all. These reflect a lot, so I try not to wear them, but the active ingredient is Bacillus thuringiensis subspecies. That's really it. And uh, the rest is just inert ingredients. And like I say, uh, they're made by Summit Chemical, I'm pretty sure, so you can go read on their website. Uh, if you want to read more about it, but they say that these are safe. They can be used in fish habitats. They can be placed um, in flower pots, bird baths, rain barrels, old tires, animal watering troughs. So it's a really safe way to kill the mosquito larvae and it works for about 30 days. So how do you use this if you don't have a pond? It's real simple. This is what I came up with. I was on 20 acres, we didn't have a pond either. We, we did have irrigation water and I couldn't control that. They're gonna go lay their eggs there, but I thought around my property, right around the house, I would set out some buckets. You can do as little as a one gallon bucket, five gallon bucket, whatever you got. You can pick these one gallon buckets up for a few dollars a piece, I'm pretty sure. You can often find free buckets from painters and that. You don't want them to have a lot of chemicals in it but you do want a dirty bucket. Dirty is actually better. Um, so what you do is you put at least three quarters full of water in this and just a chunk off of this mosquito dunk. You can break them up into chunks. It just takes like a quarter of one. This whole packet is like seven or eight dollars, so it's really cheap. You drop that in there, you want that water to be, be a little dirty, so dirty water, put some leaves, not too many, but put some leaves and branches and basically make it like pond water. Uh, mosquitoes are attracted to that. And what you're doing is you're trying to encourage them to come lay their eggs in the easiest place possible. They're like most species. They don't want to hunt all around for a place to lay their eggs. They want to go to the easiest place possible. So you make a nice big spot. A five gallon bucket's even better. You make a nice big spot. It attracts them. They're not gonna go look for that little cup of water you left somewhere or the water in the tire. They're gonna go to the easiest spot possible. They're gonna lay their eggs, and every time they do that, they never develop. That mosquito dies in like a couple weeks, life cycle broken. I have heard from people that say it has dramatically reduced the uh, problem around their house. Now, it did that for me too. I noticed it quickly cut down the population of mosquitoes dramatically. Now you won't get rid of all of them. They're a very hardy species. And you're not gonna kill them all. You're not gonna get rid of the, the bugs that are the, the food for birds and bats and things like that. You're just getting rid of the ones right around your house. And this lasts for about 30 days. So every three to four weeks, I go out and just toss another little chunk in. Now, yeah, I've heard other methods like, why not just dump the water out every week? Well, I've heard that, I've read that they can actually lay their eggs and develop in as little as four to five days. I don't want to take that chance. Plus, it's a hassle. This is 30 days. Cost you like seven bucks for all of those. I mean, one of these will last you two seasons. I mean, unless you're putting out a lot of buckets, you break this up and over the season, it's, it's going to last you like years that whole pack and it's something like seven to ten dollars i'll put a link to these in the description down below where you can pick them up on amazon hey make sure you don't miss any of our videos by clicking the bell icon but you have to click the all part if you just click the personalize youtube will decide what you see so it works really well there's other methods like i've heard of putting oil on the water um soap but to me, all those things have an unknown lifespan. Soap is really affected by contaminants. So if it's dirtier water, you're going to have that soap 
not be as effective and so it may not even work this is going to work and it's going to be more reliable because it just does what it says putting oil on the water you know i don't want to put any contaminants like oil especially motor oil or anything like that now if you're talking cooking grade oil i suppose that could work too but i'm just telling you about a way that works really well here and it's safe now if you're worried about critters getting into this like maybe an animal a dog small dog falling into a five gallon bucket or a child put them out of the way where kids can't fall into it take and buy a little bit of hardware cloth if you want it's this wire screen material called hardware cloth put a chunk of that over there anything with a screen over it, as long as the mosquitoes can get into it they'll find that water source now if you have any doubts about it working check out this video i'm going to put right here at the end that video has tons and tons of comments of people saying how well it's worked for them. So go try it and help have a happier summer without all the bug biting, the neck slapping, and you don't have to use that DEET all over your body. None of those methods. If you like this kind of stuff, be sure and subscribe and I'll see you on the next video. Take care, everybody.